Hello hockey cards fans, sports cards fans all over the world. Welcome back to my channel. Pat here from Card Collector HQ and today we are going to talk about shipping sports cards. It's going to be a rather short video but a very important one so stick around. Okay so let's package some cards. So for this example I'm going to use this uh, young gun of this year's Morgan Geeky, recently just picked up in the expansion draft. Uh, congratulations, he's now a Kraken. And I'm using this card because as you can see, I received it damage. So it's kind of in my uh, damage piles where I can use them as guinea pigs or I can give them to play with my daughters. So first off, the basic, probably probably already know that, but you've got to protect the card with a penny sleeve and a top loader. Do not put the card directly in the top loader. Okay, it's not easy to do. I've seen this sometimes. Um, you need to protect the surface of the card. Top loader is not good enough for that. And then you want to avoid any finger uh, print directly on the card much easier also to put it back in back out so first things first and you know to make sure that you don't damage the corner just see move your fingers like that and usually pretty easy then you put this in the top loader you can also use a card saver um, it's the softer one, a little bit bigger, that you use to send for a uh, grading submission. That can also work too. Um, I like the top loader a little better because there's they're a bit sturdier, but both are valid options. Now, um, they, there are different uh, ways to ship the cards. Um, I've already made a video about shipping in a plain white envelope like this one, no padding for cheaper cards. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link up there. But today we are going to do uh, another way. So we're going to use a bubble mailer. So that's a padding envelope. There are different sizes, but for a single card, I will recommend the zero 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 like that so it's four by eight and that's the inside of the envelope as you can see nice padding if you ship a lot of cards if you or, or you plan to do so buy them in bulk uh, either on ebay or on uh, amazon you can get some great deal um, because if you buy them locally it, it's gonna cost you in the end uh, especially if you go like to the uh, post office or uh, Staples or those kinds of office supply stores. Um, but yeah, the 000, they're um, really good. You can put up more than one card, but for just one card, it's going to be enough. Um, so do not just bam and ship. This is not enough. So there's different steps to do. First things first, you want to uh, tape the ending here so the card doesn't slip out. So it's kind of difficult, you know, but in the mail it's moving a lot so it's not impossible that the card will slip out. Um, it could also happen if you're using a top loader that is not exactly the right size, for example, for a thicker card like this one here. So I happen to have pretty much the perfect size yeah, not so much in the end, as you can see. Um, <laughs> so you want to uh, protect that. Uh, there's different ways to do so, but um, actually two ways. And I'm going to cover the first one using painter tape. So what I like to do also is add a little bit more of protection, a little bit more sturdiness because you know it's it's bendable a little bit so i like to make sure that it's thicker in the mail a little bit not too much so to do that there's two different ways um you can use decoy that you find if you uh 
like to rip some packs sometimes you're gonna find them in in a lot of products um, so card decoy can just tape them to the card to the top loader like that it works and as you can see it's much uh, sturdier or um, what I do also is just cut to size a piece of cardboard you know whenever you've got a new package you're buying a box of something um, I like to rip them apart and cut them to size when I'm watching Netflix and so on I just took my get my scissors and cut them to size and what I do is that I use painter tape and we'll attach the cardboard to the top loader just like that and by doing so you've got a nice secure package here and the bot the top tape also acts as a, a safety for the card itself usually i like that it's pretty much enough you can put it there back back and then you're done for this other options that you can do is using other types of padding like base cards okay so need this anymore so you can use some random base cards that you have lying around and then you can use a team bag also so there you see a lot of person uh, talking about team bags saying that okay penny sleeve top loader team bag always all the time I will do it on um, pricier cards you know like I want to dress up the card a little bit if it's just a regular card something you know in the that costs either a few bucks or 10 20 30 bucks and so on don't usually use a team bag there's different uh, manufacturer of these so Beckett is one of them but there's uh, ultra pro BCW and um, so you can just put it in the team bag like so and then attach it to any piece of cardboard that works too um, what I've seen often also is instead of cutting pieces of cardboard and so on you can use your base card that you don't need anymore don't want to instead of throwing them out that's a good way to give them a bit of a second life and then you can all put it like that in the team bag and it pretty much does the same thing meaning that it's thicker and it's more uh, it adds up a little protection and if you're using the team bag what is nice is that you don't need to use tape on the top of the card because you know it, it will be secured like so so a couple of options um, I don't have a lot of base card lying around anymore because I like to get rid of those and I don't rip wax as much anymore because it is getting pricey a lot <laughs> for the return that you get but anyways um, yeah so that's it for a single card if you got something that's a bit thicker I will pretty much do the same process although this one it's already thick um, don't really need extra cardboard um, I can do it sometimes but it's, I don't think it's necessary in that case you can just close it up at the top like so and uh, ship it in the mail or in a team bag and that will work also so that is for raw cards now I hear that graded cards are popular these days that's what I hear they are really popular indeed so it's a bit different but not so much um, because in the end it's just bigger it's already thicker but 
In this case, the card is protected inside the slab, but you do want to protect the slab itself. You know, you don't want it to break uh, because it can break. So first things first, and also, you know, it's a nice slab, it's a nice protection, it's a nice piece. You want to make sure that there's no scratches or, you know, dirty fingers on top of the slab itself. So always put them in uh, a... It's not a team bag per se, it's a graded card uh, pocket or sleeve actually. So you can buy them at your local card store or um, on eBay and Amazon. I'll try to find some links and put them in the description below. So always put them in a bag and then uh, you'll probably want a bigger sized envelope because yes, it fits the zero zero but it's extremely tight so that's good in a way that it's not moving but then there's only one layer of protection and i'm not sure if i like that personally so i'm going to use a larger envelope so i said the zero zero that i've used the triple zeros that we've used before those are four by eights then you've got the zero zero that are five by ten and then the zero like this one that is six by ten um once again buy in bulk if you want um, because this is how you're going to save money personally i don't use that much of those bigger envelopes so i buy them at my local dollar store same as my painter tape rubber bands and all kinds of stuff so the dollar store is really your friend to ship uh cost effectively so I'm gonna take this bigger envelope here and it's going to give me uh, a little bit more space to double up the protection on there. So, big fan of cardboard. So if I'm cutting for top loaders, I will do the same but for graded cards. And what I will do, I will just sandwich them like that. And then you can use tape, but I will just use rubber band to make it secure might use a combination of both and you know I you, you get these huge bags of rubber bands at the dollar store for like a dollar it's just a little pain to go through them and find the proper size but you know something like that um, you probably want it to be a little tighter so I'm doing this quickly but you get the idea and this way it's really double protected it doesn't move and it's yes it's a bit thicker but it will fit right in the this second padded envelope and it's still going to pass as the regular uh, letter mail that you can use with these types of envelopes Reminder, disclaimer, uh, I'm in Canada, so the different uh, postage or uh, sizes of envelope to be treated as a uh, letter mail uh, can be different in the States and other countries. So if you're not sure, you can double check your local post office. But using these techniques and these envelopes, I don't need to ship them as parcels, which makes this a lot more cost effective. If you don't want to use cardboard like that, there's also other shipping supplies that you can recycle. Um, any bubble wrap that you that you have um, might be good, like these Amazon Prime envelope here that are bubble like that. Then you can cut them, put them inside, and then it does the trick just as good. So that's another way. So if you want to really save on shipping sports cards it's really good advice to keep an eye out when you do purchases before throwing stuff out think of how you can recycle them and this way you get you know easy supply uh, you don't have to wait around uh, for new packages so basically um, i get my stuff locally at the dollar store for the rubber band the tape this kind of stuff uh, I recycle the cardboard and then I get the envelope bulk. So that's pretty much it. 
Hope you appreciate it. Use these techniques. The cars will be safe. They'll get there safely. You'll get good reviews. You'll get good feedback. If you like the content, consider subscribing to my channel. Posting twice a week now. And on that, have a good weekend. See you next week. Check out my other videos. Goodbye.